what are you stress modeling around your children so what a strange question jane evans <laughs> yeah maybe it is but it's just a, a theme that keeps coming up at the moment when i'm working with adults is how they have been so impacted by the way that the adults in their early lives felt about and behaved about chores and tasks and things that had to be done so maybe getting the meal you know if the if the parent or the carer found that a super stressful thing to do which i completely understand it's not one of my favorites then of course the child the baby the child was bathed in the change in energy when it came to near meal time and the preparation started happening and it's all very tense and whizzy and yeah fueled with stress or it might have been uh doing the cleaning it might have been this is this is a favorite one <laughs> um getting ready to go out somewhere so that is often a time when understandably as adults our stress kicks in you know particularly if you've got several children to get ready but even if you've got one child to get ready it's when boom we start rushing about um becoming a bit scattered very stressed uh, maybe getting a bit short and sharp and all that kind of thing exasperated Whew. so we are stress modeling without meaning to at all and probably without realizing to our children that these things in daily life feel very overwhelming they they switch my nervous system into a state of fight flight and panic and of course i say of course but it may not be of course to you um their their nervous system so their body system and their brain system is constantly getting bathed in that energy it's releasing the same chemicals as you are it's going into the same state of fight flight even in the run-up to all these things so they will sense the switch in you and it will and it will flick their system as well and then over time and it really doesn't take very much time i'm seeing this with you know being around my granddaughter not that she is necessarily experiencing any of this but it all happens really fast <laughs> what goes in what gets stored and how they react yeah it's it's faster than i ever would have believed so what can you do because you know many of us like i i really find even the thought of cleaning uh, it just makes me feel all kind of stressed and uncomfortable and miserable and resistant and overwhelmed and all that which you know I know where it's come from <laughs> but it's also something that I have to do so first of all begin a bit of an awareness journey be very kind to yourself but maybe focus on one thing do I when we are getting ready to go out or I have to be somewhere on time does my whole way of being my energy the way i'm talking the way i'm moving the kind of tightness in my body does that happen because that's a big aha for you and then choose one simple thing and i don't when simple and easy these are not the same words <laughs> but one thing that you can find quite simple to do it's it's not a complicated thing that you're going to just go okay I know I've got to get ready in 10 minutes. I'm just going to quickly, if it feels comfortable, because everyone's body is very different. For me, like putting my hands on the top of my head, just taking a few breaths. My body likes that. Your body may not. So you might have to experiment with what your, what your grounding tool is. But just do one or two rounds of that before you go into the preparing the meal or doing the cleaning these are things that i i don't like that's why i'm using them as examples um or getting ready to go out just experiment so start with awareness think about one thing that you you might already know god i always get stressed about about even maybe sitting down and the eating what's going to happen it makes me feel anxious inside because i don't you know getting the children to eat 
all those kinds of things because if you take this stuff really seriously without being horrible to yourself it's going to have a, a great impact for your children because what I see in the adults that I work with is the roots of all their overwhelm what's often called procrastination avoidance whatever you want to call it it all began in these early childhood experiences of the adult or adults around us getting really stressed and really you know resenting or hating or disliking maybe cooking i mean I, i'm not a big fan of cooking if i'm honest <laughs> um or as i say cleaning or something that had to be done and that you know you now as a as a fully fledged adult you have to do some of this stuff too so pay attention to it get into a habit of oh, i'm just trying to do something to just make sure that that big head of steam doesn't build up inside of me and before i know it i'm crashing and banging around and muttering under my breath and maybe getting irritated with the children because I'm doing the thing that I just don't like doing because it's a real gift that you will pay forward for them so that when they are adults and they have to start doing some of this stuff it won't feel so horrible and toxic for them as well so let me know how you get on maybe if you feel like it let me know what your thing is that you know that you always get really about but you have to do most days um, let me know in the comments. Take care.